hi guys welcome back to the channel i'm gonna forewarn you that this vlog is gonna sting a little bit so be prepared i love tuesdays tuesdays is one of the days that i'm all alone and i get to center myself i get to be quiet i get to take things slow i get to meditate and i get to to face myself and I always ask myself, because I always want to know what am I going to answer when somebody asks me how I'm doing. So I ask that of myself very often. And currently, I'm good. I'm at a place of healing, a place of growing. I'm good. That's how I answer people when they ask me genuinely how I'm doing. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are not doing okay. They're pretending that everything is okay. And yeah, my heart breaks for those people. And if you run into this vlog, this message is for you. I've never been controlled. I'm lucky to have had a good life in that sense. Um, we grew up in a very liberal household. And my mom never controlled us. She guided us. I've never been told what to do by anybody. Growing up as a young adult in relationships, I've never had that. Very fortunate. But if you find yourself in this situation where you feel controlled, you feel pushed down by life and by people and you just can't find your happiness because every time that you feel happy there's somebody or something or some event that steals your joy you have to find a way to put a stop to it if only by saying this is your journey in life you are a gift to this earth and only you, not any outside influence, can find that special gift that you are. And only you can live it. You have to find a way to live your truth. A cousin of mine said recently, what is it with humans that we give so much validation to the people who disapprove of us? You drain all your energy trying to prove that their opinion of you is inaccurate and spend most of your time fighting for their acceptance? Is it because that you yourself doubt your self-worth or struggle to accept who you are? Many people will love you and many will dislike you and none of it will have anything to do with you. It's called self-esteem, self-love, and self-confidence for a reason, because it's about the self. One of the things that I learned from a really early age is I hate injustice. And I thought it was so unfair that each of us are given a life, an individual life to live. You have yours, he has his, she has hers. But yet there are people that try to live two lives. Their life and your life. And I think that is extremely unfair, totally unjustified. You do not get to live two lives or three lives. You only have one. And how dare somebody else try to live your life and tell you what to do with your life. That's something I learned from really young. And I, I was determined that that was not going to happen to me. I was going to live my own life. And there was nobody that's going to tell me how to live my life. You don't have the right. Can you imagine at 22, 28, 32, 
that your parents are still telling you what to do with your life or your friends or your family? No. I think you have to know yourself. You have you got to believe in yourself. You have to know that what you do is fine. And if you make mistakes, it's also fine. That is just the beauty of living that we make mistakes, we grow, we fall down, we get up. You do not owe them an explanation about your life. You owe no one an explanation about your life. I I am playing with my life. I think it's a wonderful game, a wonderful experience. I'm trying not to think too much about it and what happens happens. I mean, yes, we try to make the best choices and do the best that we can to get to where we want to go. But nothing, nothing in my life that I have planned worked out the way I completely wanted it to work out. And I'm fine. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm doing just fine. So that's the lesson here because I've lived a long life, a full life of happiness and travel and growth and falling down and getting up and um, marriage and divorce and tears and laughter. I've lived a full life and I'm good. You will be good too. And I'm not done yet. There's so much more I want to feel, so much more I want to explore, so much more I want to see. I'm always on the internet trying to find the next new holiday to go to and figuring out how we're going to make it happen. I'm not done. And you shouldn't be done either. You got this. We all have our battles. The ones we fought, the ones we've won, the ones we're fighting right now. The ones we've lost, the ones we've yet to fight, that nobody even knows about. So always respect the battles because even if you're not fighting one right now, sooner or later you might be fighting one again. And we have no idea the battles that someone else is fighting. Your voice, your kindness, your empathy, can help somebody through those battles. It can help them win those battles that they currently feel nobody cares about. Battles that they currently feel are hopeless. I decided since most of my plants in the garden are readying themselves for winter, I'm just going to pop over to the forest and pick some greens for the chickens really quick because I have nothing in my garden to spare. It's a super foggy winter morning. Well, it's not officially winter, but it feels and looks like it. So as you know, the forest is just across the street from my house. And I'm going to try to pick some greens, if I can find any, for the chickens, even if it's just a bit of grass. I mean, they have their, they have their feed, but I know they love the greens as a treat. This looks nice. This actually looks like parsley, believe it or not. Nope, it's it's not parsley, but it looks like it. I think they'll enjoy this.
have a few. I can always come and get more. And then see if I find a few other things. So yeah, guys. Look at this. It is so foggy. My, the best season of the year. I love autumn and I love winter. Summers are just too hot for me. You feel like you can't breathe. Even though it's beautiful, you can do a lot of outside activities. I love winter. My life is rich with opportunities and I am a magnet for happiness. And I wish all of that for you too. So I'll see you again in my next vlog. Cheers.